how is Jeff doing? Because I think this video at the house show, I think made a lot of people really nervous. Uh, yeah, he's good. I, I think he's good. I, it was basically when he wants to share this story, he will, I'm sure. But I mean, he, he ended up being exhausted after driving all night. He was on late in the dark, dark, dark at SmackDown, the last match. And they had a 300 miles plus drive and he got in very early in the morning and then he had a family emergency and he was up early and just, I, I, th I think he was just exhausted and shot and probably beat up at the same time. And, and he was also very stressed out from his WWE job as well. You know, and I think even, I think for him, sometimes he kind of gets in his own head, especially if he's alone, like on the road and whatnot. Uh, so just, it, I think it's better with me there too. I, I just think he feels a little more comfortable. Sometimes he really can get in his own head. And I feel like it's one of those things and he was stressed because he had some stuff going on in his wife's life and a death in the family. And he just, he hadn't slept at all that night. And then he kind of went into work exhausted and you know, what happened is what happened. And people painted this like, oh, this must be drugs. And then the drug test came back and he's fine. Right. Yeah. I mean, and that, that was one of the things too. I mean, I have heard from a couple of people too, that WB feel like they did jump the gun in making this very rash decision. You know, they said like, you know, he had, you know, erratic behavior because he jumped over the guardrail. I mean, the, the honest to God truth was that was his last spot in the match. He wasn't doing anything else in the match. He was technically done. And he just felt like at that point, and this is one of those things about Jeff just being strange and different and peculiar in his own way, which makes him so unique. But he was just like, I'm done. And he just jumped over the card and like took pictures with fans or whatever. And it's just so funny. It doesn't even seem extremely crazy to me when it comes to Jeff, because he just does weird things like that constantly. That's kind of that kind of makes him who he is. And I just I think that uh, it seems like WWE is afraid to release people because they're going to show up on AEW now. Uh, yeah, I mean, that, that, that could, that could be a thing, you know, for sure. Because I mean, AEW, obviously we have a long ways to go before we ever would catch up to the global enterprise that is WWE. There's no doubts about that. I mean, they're huge. They just made their biggest profit ever of over a million dollars, you know? So I think AEW is just offering an alternative and they're, we're taking a different approach to the way we present wrestling and, and it really has a, a, a diehard audience. And, and that's something that I think in, in the big scheme of things is going to be good for WWE and Vince McMahon and company because it's going to force them to to freshen up their product and, and do new things as well.